Education. The thumbnail for this video on Nick's channel says that Eminem is formally invited to Wildin' Out by the Black Squad, even though Nick is and always has been the captain of the Platinum Squad, formerly known as the Red Squad. Also, Nick is forcing his employees to get on the song and rap battle Eminem who is a major influence to over half of his employees currently. Nick's reasoning for this is simply that he thinks more people going to Eminem on one song guarantees a W, as seen in this interview about the feud between Eminem and Mariah Carey. I feel like Mariah won the battle because she put that shit out. Uh, she put the Obsessed song out, put Gucci Man on there. Gucci was going at him. Like, it was, and, like, I was like, that was well played. Not only that, but the two cast members that are featured on this song have been on both the Platinum Squad and the Black Squad several times, so I fail to see the significance of being invited by the Black Squad. In fact, there's been several episodes where all three Wild and Out members on this song we're all on the Platinum Squad together. Just say you want them on the show. The whole Black Squad thing is completely unnecessary and it's pissing me off the more I think about it. And even if Eminem did accept the invitation to be on the Black Squad, there's a chance to be placed on the same team as the people who dissed him, which is very counterintuitive. Number will be monitored and recorded. Check this out, uh, Eminem, whatever your name is, right? Nick forgets to press the record button on time when he's about to talk to Suge, so this recording starts in the middle of this automated message. And Suge's voice was clearly cut to make it come in directly after the automated message stopped, so why not just cut the automated message altogether? Also, Suge, Clearly, it knows who Eminem is. I understand that Suge has been in prison for the last few years for murdering someone, but Eminem has been one of the most famous, if not the most famous rappers since the early 2000s. I'm giving this 10 cents for this bullshit. You know, I don't ever do no talking, but Nick and family, this is your imitation. Yeah, you the fool to everybody else. What's your Shook says he never does any talking while talking. Also, Wild and Out is not the place to prove what you are about. That's just. No. What it takes off. What is there to take? I'm almost certain that Nick called Suge and gave him some weird ass story about there was something on the line here and that Suge is completely unaware of this entire situation. Nick takes the MGK approach by sprinkling in a very catchy chorus in a diss track against Eminem so people will remember it. Also, this chorus has literally nothing to do with the diss track at all. Literally not a thing. At least MGK's made sense. There ain't no coming back, that's a fact. This the invitation. Hold Joe to lean back, don't get hit with this retaliation. Invitation and retaliation do not rhyme. That's like saying eagle and angle rhyme because they end the same way. Also, Nick sounds like he's whispering. Must be afraid to wake up DJ d -Rick because he knows even he would give this song a buzzer. I fuck with crack, but the white boy, he fuck with crack. crack. Pills and smack shit. He about to relapse. Eminem is 11 years sober. Call Kim, somebody get Haley and that other kid you raising that ain't even your baby. Eminem actually raised two daughters that were not his. In addition to his biological daughter Haley, he also raised Whitney and Elena, which were both rescued from drug addicted households. The fact that Nick thinks Eminem adopting children is a diss, which is extremely insulting considering Whitney's biological father just died four months ago from the exact situation Eminem rescued her from calls for at least 50 cents. Ding, 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 ding. That's a lot of bells and I didn't want to edit all that, plus 50 bells. It's also funny to hear Nick speak about somebody else's baby knowing how irritated he was with Whitney Williams for calling his most recent child an oops baby. But that's for a different story. My baby mama killed you off a decade ago. Every Eminem album for the last decade has either gone gold or platinum, sometimes going multiple platinum, and has hit the number one spots on the US charts. Every single single one of them. Mariah Carey for the last 10 years has done the equivalent to jack shit. I called Joe to set you up and you fell for the job. Slim on show for the video cause he tear fire to my squad. Earlier in the track he told Fat Joe to stay out of the situation so he didn't get caught with the retaliation but now we're saying that he called Fat Joe to set up Eminem? Which one is it? Also Nick Cannon threatening to use multiple people to go at Eminem instead of going at him himself. Again. Seems to be a common theme right now. I heard your show forgot a video, you suck in the cop. You paid him off, then laid him off. Now who really the op? Nick heard a rumor from one of his friends and assumes it's true, so he says it on a song that he knows will get millions of views. Part of the fun of diss tracks is people exposing stuff that they know is true that other people don't know. Kind of like when Pusha T said that Drake had a kid and like nobody really knew, but he knew. This is just lunchroom rumor talk. It's like me saying I heard that R. Kelly pissed on people and he did a song with Nick Cannon, so therefore R. Kelly must have pissed on Nick Cannon. Should call me the new pop. <laughs> what? the fuck? Either A, Nick knows that Suge Knight will never hear this song because he's getting another 20 years in prison for murder so he can just say whatever the fuck he wants to. Or two, Suge Knight has gone completely fucking insane. No one in their right fucking mind would call Nick Cannon the new Tupac. Plus 100 sins. Fuck. How the fuck y'all got me battling Elvis Pussley? The new Tupac just called Eminem Elvis Pussley. Can we just stop and think about this one for a second? Now 
Hey, another chorus! Get used to that. Eminem the perfect name, cause this nigga nut. Most Eminems don't have nuts in them. In fact, there's over a dozen different types of Eminems, only two of which have nuts in them. Also, this is one of four bars that Hitman gets before it goes to another chorus. The song structure is all kinds of fucked. You used to beef with Nickelodeon Nick. Nick Cannon is still the chairman of Teen Nick, which is run by Nickelodeon, so technically he still is Nickelodeon Nick. And even if that wasn't the case, Nick Cannon moved on over to America's Got Talent in 2009, which was the same year that the beef happened with Eminem, so it's a lose-lose situation either way. Bada boom, got it beam. Onomatopoeias. Hey, another chorus, get used to that. Come on, Nick, that's Marshall. You don't need help. Yes, yes he does. That's why he called you. And Hitman. And Prince Easy and a fucking murderer. Charlie only gets four bars just like Hitman did. I don't understand why Nick would put them in a situation to potentially ruin their career only to give them a handful of bars. Not to mention they're the best fucking bars on the entire thing and if you blink you're gonna miss their verse. Hey, another chorus, get used to that. When I take a soul if the bitch die, I'ma still eat her, I'm a vulture. This man just said he would eat a dead woman's vagina in a diss track on Eminem. What the fuck? I'ma write your name in your mouth. You 47 chasing clout. This is the most ironic bar of the entire thing. I googled Prince Easy and I still don't know who he is. Fuck his baby mama in a choker. Clearly Prince Easy has not heard Kim. I think fucking his baby mama in a choker wouldn't really affect him that much. I do the shit for my real niggas, not the white boys trying to act black. If you try to make rap music and you're white, you're trying to act black. There's multiple cast members on Wild and Out who are white that rap. So I don't know if Nick agrees with this or what the fuck's going on here, but that's racers. <laughs> Hey, another chorus, get used to that. In all seriousness, that's the sixth fucking chorus on this. Give me a fucking break. Run that shit out there, man. I'm beginning to realize that Suge Knight has no fucking idea who Nick Cannon is. The only thing he runs is Wild and Out, and apparently Teen Nick. He vanilla okay, is it me, or has Suge's brain been locked up since 1995? The new Vanilla Ice? What's funny is if you know the situation, Suge Knight literally gets, I'm pretty sure, all of the royalties from Ice Ice Baby because he threatened to fucking murder Vanilla Ice. Suge took me out on the balcony, started talking to me personally. On the balcony. On the balcony. High above, like 15 floors. He had me look over the edge, show me how high I was up there. On the balcony. Van Winkle says Suge Knight told him to sign over points from the song to a man named Mario Lavelle Johnson. Who is Mario Lavelle Johnson? His name is listed. That's the guy that Suge Knight brought over there that is an acquaintance, acquaintance of mine that had nothing to do with that song. You signed over the rights? Signed over the rights to him so he, that Suge and them could get paid for it. You got every person in the industry, every person in the streets. Where are you gonna go? If you listen closely, you can hear somebody breathing through their nose into the microphone, and it just really pisses me off. Also, why the fuck does Suge Knight think that Nick Cannon has connects in the music industry that Eminem does it? Also, also, Suge Knight really just fucked himself on parole right there. Eminem's a bitch for bringing bullshit up that's not true. Didn't Nick Cannon say that he heard that Eminem sucked a show for his cock and then fired him? How are you gonna call somebody a bitch for thinking they said something that's not true and then proceed to say something that you don't know is true? And what was it that Eminem brought up that wasn't true? Is he talking about his balls being cut off? Because I'm pretty sure nobody believed that and knew it was kind of a joking matter. So if this dude want a real target on his back, that's all it is. Suge just really fucked himself on parole right there. Again. <laughs> Super evil, evil villain laugh. We have 60 seconds remaining. Nick Cannon accidentally puts a voice recording of him talking to his lawyer about his own career. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm your bitch. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, honey. I didn't mean that. You know that, right? Thank you guys so much for stopping by in this video. Hopefully you all did enjoy this and had as much fun with this as I did. I had a lot of fun making this. I'm just having a blast with the whole Nick Cannon Eminem situation. It's all just fucking hilarious to me. If you guys did like this video, please make sure to drop a like and comment down below your thoughts on it. That's how I know you guys really like these types of videos. They are hard to make and take a lot of time for me to do. I do plan on making another one of these videos for Pray For Him, which just dropped in the middle of me making this, and I didn't just want to trash this video because, like I said, they take forever to make. So if you guys do want one of those, make sure you comment about that and if i see enough comments i will work on that tonight and get that up maybe tomorrow or the next day and like i said if you guys are new please subscribe i do make music for myself that's why i understand a lot of these punchlines and a lot of different things of these videos and most people have clicked off this video by now but if you're still here i do have a store in the description below where a lot of stuff is on sale for christmas right now so if you guys are wanting my album if you guys are wanting shirts or anything like that i do have a couple things still left in my inventory back home and i am trying to get rid of those so just check out my store in the description
description. It's CryptoRapper.com. And go over there, check out some of the sales I got, and just snag some of that. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say, and I was just going to throw it at the end of this video so it doesn't take you guys out of the video. But until next time, guys, it has been your boy Crypt. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.